Okay, welcome back. Uh, the primary reason why I like to test FSD in downtown Toronto is because of all the variety of interactions that technology can face in a simple drive. While it's good to test FSD against some predictable and repeatable factors, the sheer variety and spontaneity of the situations you face in downtown is what really shows what full self-driving can do. Tonight I'm going to go up Young Street in Toronto and I'm going to face off against one of the strangest and really most entertaining interactions I've ever filmed in an FSD video. You should really pay attention to what is about to transpire and let me know after you watch how you think FSD fared. Okay, we're going to speed up the camera right here just to get to the interesting part. Now, if you look at the map on my display, you can see that this should be a relatively simple drive. We're going straight ahead. We have a simple right turn that we're going to make. And soon after that, we're going to make a left turn and that should take us to our destination. But as you can see, this is going to be anything but a typical ride. Now, FSD puts me into the right lane right now because it's trying to get out of the fact that within a couple of intersections, I'm going to have to be turning right. But immediately as we get through the intersection, it puts me back into the left lane. And the reason why is because of that e-scooter there on the right. And I'll just put an arrow so you can see that e-scooter there. Now in downtown Toronto, there are tons of these guys going around, usually doing uh, Uber Eats deliveries. They are all over the place. Now look what happens here. I've got to go into the right lane and now I've got to merge straight into the left lane past this intersection here because we've got that construction and FSD does a fantastic job of doing that nice and smoothly. At the same time it has to keep its distance here with that e-scooter in front of us. So it just thinks of all the things it's trying to manage. It's dark, there's this guy on the bicycle in front of us, we've got pedestrians, we've got narrow traffic because of the construction. It's got to manage all of these things. And as you see, we're going to be running out of some space soon because not at this intersection. Again, the next intersection, I'm going to have to turn right. So we're going to see once we get through this intersection, what FSD is going to have to do to my vehicle to contend with all the factors on the road. Let's see what happens right now. So far, it's keeping me in the left lane. We've got a lot of traffic there on the right. Now, look what happens here. We've got this bozo here in the right lane who does an illegal left turn there all these people crossing the road and we've got those scooters up ahead. FSD just calmly waits and uh, goes forward. Now we're in a bit of a tricky situation. I'm signaling to go right, but it's very difficult for me to go do that. But FSD finds a way to get in right just behind these scooters. But now we have a person who just stopped their vehicle to let these people out. So FSD is going to have to find a safe time to go and pass. Waits for that vehicle to go, gets into the left lane. But then look what happens. That car starts to leave immediately and cuts me off before I can get into the right lane again. So unless FSD was able to stop immediately and then squeeze back into the right lane, uh, there's going to be no way I'm going to be able to make a right turn here. And look, again, we've got all these scooters here just piling up. So there's no way I'm going to be able to make that right turn. I think we've got three or four of them right now. So uh, let's just speed up the camera here and see what happens. Now you can see there the pedestrian light goes and off go the scooters. So, you know, when it suits them, they're pedestrians, but at the same time, you know, they're riding on the boat, uh, on the roads like they're motorcyclists as well. It makes it really tricky. As you can see, FSD is still signaling to go right, but there's no way we're going to be able to do a safe right turn here. So we go through the intersection and now we're going to have to uh, reroute and we're going to have to see when we're getting, have to get into the right lane. As you can tell though, it's almost impossible to get into the right lane because we've got these staggered conga line of uh, e-scooters on the right. So we're gonna see if FSD's got uh, the ability to uh, uh, battle them and uh, find a way to fit in there. But at this point, uh, it's pretty much impossible because uh, it's not like you're dealing with one cyclist here. You've got a, like a whole handful of them. In fact, what we're gonna do is just speed up the camera here and try to get a sense of how many scooters FSD has to manage right now. So take a look at this. All right, I'm gonna pause the camera. We've got one, two, three. No, we got three. How about four? Yep, there's the fourth one. What about five? Yep, right there. That's the fifth guy on his bike. And uh, any more? Oh yeah, we got that guy as well. That's six. And to uh, finish off, yeah, there we go. The last guy, seven. So we have seven e-scooters and cyclists there on the right. And FSD's gotta find a way to get around them. Because if you look on the map, I gotta be turning right at the next intersection or soon after that. So again, look at my uh, screen. FSD's trying to move into the right lane, but it can't. It's just not safe for those scooters for my car to squeeze in there. So it goes through this intersection. So now we've got to get into the right lane sooner than later because we are running out of time. So FSD is picking up the pace right now, but it does the right thing because we've got another person here who's stopping off. 
and okay now maybe we can move into the right lane nope not safe yet we got another person who's stopping their car and we've got the cyclist here in front of us and take a look at my rear view camera there we've got e-scooters racing behind me here FSD is trying to move into the right, but it slows down and lets that scooter pass. So it does a fantastic job of being very safe and uh, very conscientious of all those other cyclists who are on the road. It does a really good job with that. So we're going to have to turn right here. And again, let's take a look at what all the things FSD has to concern itself with. We've got this person in front. We've got oncoming traffic. We've got pedestrians. We've got scooters that are just coming all over the place. We've got probably six, seven, eight different factors, all these things that FSD has to calculate, and it's got to be able to make that turn safely and smoothly. So let's see how it does. All right, off go the scooters, but look at my camera there. We still have people who are trying to still squeeze through. And FSD, those cameras are looking on the right, they're looking forward, and they're looking behind. And they're doing a fantastic job. None of these people know that I'm not driving this car. This is all being done autonomously. Starting to inch forward, Take a look at my camera again. Do you see you have any scooters who are going to try to squeeze through? No, nope. we've got a pedestrian who's trying to squeeze through, and then we got those two pedestrians at the front. I've got oncoming traffic as well. And take a look there. There's one more of those e-scooter guys. It's not safe yet. No, he just buzzes by on the left. Yeah, I guess you're a motorcyclist now. And there we go. Fantastic job. So after dealing and contending with all of that, FSD does a fantastic job. It was very safe. And it was very smooth, actually. At no point did I feel like I was being jerked around. It wasn't doing starts and stutters. It's doing a fantastic job there. We're gonna do a left turn here. And we're gonna pause here because look what happens. We had uh, two pedestrians who actually made a turn here and decided to cross the road the last second. We have another one crossing from the other end. FSC doesn't wanna wait for him. Says it can aggressively go through. And it does so expertly. Fantastic job. So, what do you think of what you just saw? Here's some of my thoughts on that. I thought FSD was fantastic for tonight's drive, particularly with the lane changes. Each one of them was done very smoothly and with purpose, whether it was to get ahead of a turn or to get away from a cyclist or just to adjust to some of the construction, I found the lane changing to be overall on point. Uh, we had some cars that were stopping in front of us that really would have made it difficult even for a human driver to predict. The vehicle and the e-scooter detection was amazing as well. FSD not only had to contend with the scooters from all directions, but had to expertly plan how it could drive alongside them in order to position itself for a right turn. It was really next level stuff and one of the most impressive demonstrations of what the technology could do. Not only was FSD patient and safe with its maneuvers, it was also very smooth. At no point did I feel like I was unsafe or uncomfortable. It just calmly went ahead and adjusted to dozens of conditions. This was another amazing stress test for full self-driving. I hope you enjoyed coming along for the ride. Hey, I'm on threads now, so check that out. If you like this video and full self-driving, please feel free to give me a follow. I really appreciate it. The channel is really starting to grow. Drive safe and I'll see you on the roads.